I want to show you now how easy it is to use the Verti Sweep and how it works. So after having defined in Rotoline Ultra Computer the flange parameters, we are able to go back to the dimension screen and see the rest of parameters that have to be given. Once they have been inputted, I am in condition to go to the measurement screen. In the measurement screen, it is asked if I want to rotate the shaft over 3 o'clock or, alternatively, over 9 o'clock. So this is given with a green arrow. In this case, I will select over 3 o'clock. So in the classic methods like the static mode, the internal inclinometer is not active. Reason why? The user will have to define in the housing, in the coupling housing, in the shaft, the marks defining 0, 6 o'clock, 3, 9 o'clock and intermediate positions to define the positions where to take the readings. So the results could be potentially affected by some human errors if the user was not exactly taking the readings on those positions but assuming that he was. So with a verti sweep this problem is no longer existing because all what is needed is that the user defines the initial position, rotates the shaft 360 degrees and stops the measurement. 360 degrees or a little bit more for convenience. So in this case, I'm now able to take the first measurement. So I say to the computer, I will start the rotation. All what I do is a sweep, as I said, about 360 degrees, and there I am. I stopped this measurement. Maybe I'm also interested to take another measurement. And so I will take the second one now. And still maybe a last measurement for comparison. So here I am, I have my three measurements, and now I'm able to check the measurement table for repeatability. What I see here is that the measurement is in all very repeatable. We have three measurements with a verti sweep and all the results are in all very repeatable. So for a real machine, a real vertical machine, we are very convinced that the verti sweep it is a very useful feature because of the reason as I mentioned. So no need to define exactly all the predefined positions to take readings because all what we need is a sweep and due to the constraints and access to the machine it is much more convenient to rotate the shaft instead of stopping in predefined positions. So I hope this assists you to understand now a little bit more about the verti sweep and how easy it is to use it.